Hi folks, this is your boy Ivan Zatwik. Um, let's talk about Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, he finally made his long awaited move to Al Nasser in a deal worth 214 million dollars a season. That's how much he's going to be paid. The deal also comes with his own presidential palace, five top of the range cars allocated to him. Inside, uh, he has a full shopping mall to himself, a whole security uh, company guiding the police, and he also has a mini football, two mini football fields, one basketball pitch, and then another uh, other fields for uh, tennis and other games, all to make Cristiano Ronaldo comfortable. Um, guess what? He's already attracting uh, television pay per view networks to the Qatar League. Super Sports has just announced that next year they'll begin to stream the Qatar League. And I'm sure the spotlights will change uh, towards that league. That is the Cristiano effect. This is the most popular man on social media with 500 million followers. And we are told that followers of, since the deal was announced, the number of followers of Al Nazar have quadrupled because of him. Uh, let us go and look at his unveiling and then when we come back I will say my final um, words and then we see what is going to happen there. Well, for me, it's a pleasure to be here. It's an honor. I, I feel yesterday the, the welcome that they, they give to me, to my family. And of course, I will give my best for this club, Al Nassar. Thank you, everybody. Okay, folks, we just watched the unveiling of Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, in a speech, he made it clear that he had conquered the whole of Europe, won everything that is to be won by any player, and no doubt that is true. Um, he's the all-time Champions League top scorer. He also won so many Ballon d'Ors, as many as five. He's done it in three of the top leagues, England, Spain, Italy. 
No player has done what he's done, winning leagues in all those places. And in all those, except the Italian league, he's one best player in each uh, of the leagues he's played. Even in the Portuguese league, that's four leagues, to say the least. So Cristiano Ronaldo is definitely up there when it comes to world football. Um, the debate as to whether he or Messi is the GOAT uh, is neither here nor there. But bear in mind, this is the all-time international top goal scorer. He's, all, he's also the only player to have scored in five World Cups, better than mine. He's currently the top scorer in all the, in the Champions League. Keep that in mind. And as you speak, he, he has scored over 800 goals. Now, why did the Qataris sign Cristiano Ronaldo? Here is the deal. They have plans to host a Winter World Cup in 2030 after the U.S. Uh, to 2026 World Cup. So, bringing in top stars like Ronaldo is supposed to change the spotlight towards the country. You know? And people begin to pay attention. A part of his deal is also to play an ambassador role for the Qataris to help them win the bid. And it, it looks like FIFA, after the success in Qatar, would want to have another World Cup in a Gulf rich country like Saudi Arabia. And they do have the results to make that happen. Now, uh, in explaining what the deal comes with, I forgot to add that um, the owners of Al Nassar, they own, they own PSG, they also own Newcastle. And I'm told they do also have shares in, uh, I think, in uh, Man City also. So here's the deal. Cristiano Ronaldo is, gets them to insert a clause in this contract that says if New, if Newcastle, who are currently uh, third on the league log, the league log, if Newcastle managed to qualify for the Champions League next season, Cristiano Ronaldo will come on loan to Newcastle and play in the Champions League. Very smart move. And boy, Newcastle, they are on fire this season. Um, yesterday, they held leaders, uh, Arsenal, to a 0 0 draw in the Emirates of all places. So they are doing extremely well. Um, they are, they are 10 to 5 points at power to mind you, but all on goal difference. You know, um, so they're not doing battle at all. Now, in the Qatari League, it's certainly not a very poor league because they have the money. Uh, they have very good players playing there. Abu Bakr, remember the famous Cameroonian who did that flip, the cheeky goal in the World Cup. Vincent Abu Bakr plays the lead scorer for Al Nasser. Now Cristiano Ronaldo is in there. Uh, they're going to partner, and they could be deadly. Uh, they in the Qatar league, they also have the Nigerian uh, Igalo, who no longer ago played for Manchester United. So the league looks solid. Um, like I said, that league is going to get attention. People are beginning to ask, how can we avoid the league? And the television stations know that Cristiano Ronaldo means money. Even the, the money the club is paying for, he shares a lot. They are going to reap benefits from that. People, so many people are beginning to follow, uh, follow the Al Nasser team, and Super Sports. They just said for next season they are going to stream. The Qatar, the what do you call it, the Southern League Pro League, and I'm sure many television stations will, will uh, move in there. 
That is what Cristiano Ronaldo brings to the table. And at 37, and look at what the man is capable of doing. Still very fit, uh, not injured, can play 90 minutes. Um, he's going to be around for another four years. Um, and my suspicion is that he's eyeing the 2026 World Cup in the U.S. He wants to play. That's why he's making, of course, the move to, to Qatar is strategic. Who wouldn't want a cheap payday of 200, over $200 million a season? And he, I'm told he signed for two years. So that's 400 guarantee. And bonuses, winning bonuses, and endorsement deals have not come in. So clearly, I, I also saw a list of the top aimers in football and he shot to the top. So you can see from this chart uh, that Cristiano Ronaldo is now top $214 million a year, followed by Mbappe, 63, and then Messi comes in 10, and Neymar 37. You know, so he's certainly very rich on top. Shot to the top of the, the list. Only Mbappe comes second, and even him, he hasn't crossed 100. Only Cristiano Ronaldo is making two over two hundred million United States uh, dollars per season. And that's roughly uh, two hundred million uh, euro. Uh, sometimes the amounts they mention when they sign this footballers is so ridiculous. Um, I do remember in the village, one of my uncles asking me, why would they spend so much money to buy a human being just for kicking a balloon with air inside? <laughs> because I'm going to do He asked me whether he, Ronaldo can fly with the ball to score and that for which reason they pay him that much. You know, the, the money they, they come in is so ridiculous. So... They should tell us that if you're a parent and your your kid is talented, support him. You never know where this could take him. The family status could change immediately because of your son. So let us support the youth in sports you know, and stop pinholing them and saying that you must go to school, go to school. This time, this time now, it is talent that sells. So at this stage, we'll leave it here and then we'll watch um, what happens and we'll be coming in with updates. Bye-bye. Uh, kindly leave your comments below uh, and then don't forget to click the follow button, uh, like the page so that when we draw videos, uh, you will see them, you know. And let me also remind you that the Upper East Division 2 League is back. So we will be doing a lot of, we'll be trying to stream some of our matches live so our viewers can see. And then we also have our juvenile team activities, which we'll be sharing. Uh, but beyond that, we'll be doing Ghana sports, world sports, um, as it were, to help grow our page and to for wider readership. Uh, and because we have an agenda not only just to play football, but to change lives through the power of football. Um, within a, a short time, we'll get you to know. Um, I wrote a, an article recently. I would write that article again, and then you see um, what we are all about. Thank you. Bye-bye.